Chuck Norris Monday. Chuck Norris Monday. Ah, uh, here we go. Now Chuck Norris reboots his phone. What? He pushes up volume, down volume, and then he holds the power button. I think he just stares. He just at stares it. at it until it reboots. It. Chuck Norris was when Chuck Norris was born. He drove his mom home from the hospital. <laughs> Hey, get in the back, Mom. I got this. Chuck Norris can delete the recycling bin. <laughs> he, wait, he deletes the whole bin? Yeah, you can't do that, I don't think. I've never been able to. Death once had a Chuck Norris experience. We'll be right back. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to Wake Up. Where we wake up. I'm Pastor Scott. I'm Pastor Jason. We got a great show for you thank today. You. We value you so much. We like, love thank you all. For sharing your morning with us, it means the world to us. Or, or afternoon, I know it's obviously morning, but um, you know, you could, there's a lot of things they can be watching. And they share it and they get it out there, yeah. and we appreciate that. We really do. And uh, keep your comments. Your comments make it fun. Yes. It uh, creates kind of a community fun event. And uh, what did we say last week? We wanted to know favorite pie. So oh. we're still doing that. What's your favorite pie? Yeah. You know what a great pie is? Rhubarb. Now, I make, and Dad taught me, and you know, we make a rhubarb and you put ice cream with it. Mmm, uh, rhubarb with ice cream is, is really... They don't even know what rhubarb is. Do you know what is, that though. is? People don't know what it's rhubarb a, it's is. It's a weed. It's magical That would weed. grow every... So I remember in Wisconsin, I would go around, and I'm like, oh, and there'd be rhubarb just going wild. It's so... It's sour and bitter. But mm. if you add about a... Uh, I think it's a metric ton of sugar to it, it's amazing. And you cook <laughs> a it... A metric ton! <laughs> no, you cook it. Have you ever done this? No. Okay, so you take rhubarb, you dice it up into little tiny ones, and then you add almost an equal amount of sugar... And you you just let it you cook. You boil it forever. You cook it until it becomes a sauce. It and is. then you put it over ice cream. It is. And my kids are like, it's one of the greatest desserts known it's to like man. A, it's like a Wisconsin thing, though. It is. Very few people know what rhubarb is. Right. It's people like, pass it and they're like, why, why do they have weeds in here? It's like a, it's wonderful, though. Rhubarb is a wonderful thing. So if you ever get a chance to try it. Um, What's anyways, our scripture today? Today we're going to be in Numbers chapter 13 and, and verse 30. Ooh, one of my favorite and chapters. We're, I love we're Numbers still 13. touching on this idea that we, we there's times when we fall down. And right. that the problem is, is many times we get stuck without our dream. Right. We get stuck without our promise. So, and, and it's almost like we, we're not pursuing it anymore because we're down. Well, I gave up on that. And that's right. kind of a piece of like being down. How many people give up on their dreams that's like laying down on the job when it they comes got, to your dreams. Like, how many people give up on that healing that you tried, you prayed for mm-hmm. for weeks, nothing happened, and so then you give up on the, the the blessing that God has for you in your finances. You get stuck back into the old rat race with the the living check to check, and so so many times we get discouraged, we get stuck, and we we stop moving towards the things that we that and we know are better in life and right. that are moving up the stairs of life. And so Numbers chapter thirteen and verse thirty. The Israelites are facing the same kind of idea. They've traveled across the wilderness. They've gotten to the edge of the promised land. They've sent over spies to check out the mm-hmm. land. The spies come back, and most of the spies, 10 out of the 12 spies, say there's no way. It's not going to happen. You know, they say, uh, there's giants over there. Yes, the land is awesome. We brought back some of the produce. There's milk and honey. Like, it's rocking. It's perfect. But the people, they're too big. We can't take it. You got, and here's what's interesting, because you did have two of the spies, yeah. right? Who said we can do it? And here's a, here's something to think about. Most of our thoughts tend to be we can't do it, but we have to learn to listen to the two thoughts yeah. that say my God, because it didn't say we can do it. It said my God is able. Eighty five percent of you is saying no way, but we gotta you gotta <laughs> yeah. silence the eighty five percent and listen to the fifteen percent. That's saying hey, our God can do this. Our God's a come through God. Come on, He built you, equipped you, made you. As we talked about, I think Friday yeah. is. What amplifies those two voices is being in God's house. I'm going to go back to that for just a second. It amplifies that. Yeah, where it you, silences the other voices. Where, where are you going to get the message, Pastor Scott, uh, on that you can have God's promises? Do you get that message in school? No. No? Do you get that message from the government that you can have God's promises? No. No. Oh, where is that message at? Do you get where, it from Howard Stern? Who is possibly going to tell you Does Howard Stern ever tell things? you you can win? <laughs> oh, satellite radio, Howard Stern. But if you click just a couple clicks over, mm-hmm. you're going to get the church service at Lakewood, right. Joel Osteen. And but you're then, going to start hearing the message. Right. But there's nothing better than being in the service. Oh, so true. In the service is when we found out you download it. So what do we, what's our scripture? Okay, okay, so in Numbers chapter 13 and verse 30, so they're all saying that the, the 10 voices are saying the negative on the inside of you. But there's, there's this voice named Caleb, right? Oh. And we, all, we all got a Caleb in us. Mm-hmm. Sometimes he's been buried underneath some voices, but he's there. Right. He's screaming. And, he, and it says this. You can do it. What is that from? 
You can do you it. You can do it. It's in all the... <laughs> it says, in like five movies. It says, then Caleb silenced the people before Moses. Oh, that's a powerful uh, thing. Shh. Enough with the fear. Yeah, the enough worry. with the anxiety. Enough with the voice. Turn off those voices. Turn off the Caleb's CNN. Like, turn off the Fox. And he says this. We should go up. Now, I like this phrase. We should go up mm-hmm. and take possession of land. He didn't say we're going down. No, no, go up. He said, we're going up. And the people of God have got to go up a level. Like right. we've got to, Come the on, believers Jason. have to take it up a level. You're sitting in the wilderness, you're eating your manna, you're kind of okay, you're a little uncomfortable, it's dirty, but your shoes haven't worn out. But I'll tell you what, on the other side of the Jordan River is life and life more abundantly. On, Jason, Jesus go. promised you that he, he, of what he brought, life and life. And you're like, I'm not in the abundant life. And I'm saying to you, you got to take it up a level. But it'll never happen for me, Pastor. It's going to happen for you. It's too big. It's not too big. Your God is bigger. The boss, the economy. Your God is bigger. He can do all. He's promised you these things. And so we have to say shh to the wrong voices and say, we're going up. Yes. And we're going to take possession of that land. 2022 is going to be an up year. It's an up year. We're going to take it. We're going to take our promised land. We're going to take back. We're going to bring passion back to our marriage. Ooh. We're going to get that teenager back into into living to God's promises. Mm. We're going to we're taking back our finances. We're we're getting out of debt. We're taking we're, back our health. Taking back our health. Sickness. You cannot live in this body. Amen. You can't live in this body. No. This is the temple of the Lord. You can't be in this body. This body is healthy and all. Depression, guess what? I hate to tell you, but the joy of the Lord is going to fill me up but, in 2022. But the doctor said that you'll probably always be depressed. Right. But what did God say? Ah. That's a secret. That means we got to go up, though. We can't stay in our fleshly thinking. We've got to go up to spiritual thinking. But who can... We've got to think at a higher level. Wait a second. You and the doctor can't get you out of depression, right? It's impossible. But what did Caleb say? Who can? He said, our God is able. Our God is able. Yeah. Our God, after this scripture, it goes on to say, for our God is able, for we can certainly do it. So so we've got to learn how to speak like Caleb and think like Caleb. And, and so this requires up thinking. You know, I was, I was reading that in the 1930s, uh, Howard Hughes was pressing his engineers to build a compressed air cabin in an airplane. Okay. So that, so that the airplane air cabin would, would be sealed and they could keep it oxygenated. This would allow people on the plane to fly higher than 20,000 feet without passing out, right? okay. without having to have the mask on. Right. And so he was creating commercial air, airlines, because he said this, he said, if we can get over 20,000 feet, we can get over the weather. And one of the things that was stopping air travel in the early days of air travel for commercial passenger planes was weather. Right. If there was a storm between Atlanta and wherever you were. You go, couldn't fly. You couldn't fly through the storm. But he said, no, we got to get over the storm. Oh, Jason, so the only that's way we're so going to do this, we got to compress these air cabins, and so we we can fly above the storms of this world. I know there's COVID. Uh, I know there's inflation. On, I know that there's a lot of reasons to be worried. I know there's drama in your family. I know that there's mud in the in the in the streets. But but we gotta we gotta fly higher. We gotta fly above the storms because here's the reality: you're filled with the Spirit. Oh, you're you have compressed air on the you inside of you. You can rise above all of it. Oh, come on, Jason. Yes. Oh, I love that. Yeah. You want to pray well, for him? Yeah, I'd like to pray for him. Father, I just thank you, Lord, that you filled us with your spirit, that you're causing us to rise higher, that you raise us up above all peoples, that you're taking us up to a new level. And I thank you, Father, as you do these things, we're flying above the drama. We're flying above the fear. We, we're flying in a, a peaceful place regardless of what's happening below us. We are overcoming, Father, and we are going up and we are taking possession of those things that you promised in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Watch this clip. Are you allowing your problems to be your prison? Are you staying loyal to your mistakes? It's so hard when we feel like something was avoidable to forgive it. But he's saying today, this is making the bestseller anointing. Everybody's got a story, but yours is going to be a bestseller. Y'all, special ed, I've got four bestsellers in the last eight years. Why? Because I had to walk through all the things that I did in my own life to write a story. He turns your scars into stars. He turns your mess into a message. He's saying, you're going to get more glory. I'm going to get more glory out of your mistakes than if you never did anything. 
Ain't it funny how we can forgive ourselves, but we have a hard time forgiving somebody else? He had a whole affair on you, and you're like, oh, we're going to make it, but you're talking about it every day for the last 12 years. Won't let it go, right? Because we'll forgive us, but we won't forgive him. We'll forgive her, but we won't for, what, what? Today, whatever it is that you walked in with that is making you have trust issues, Kim, I want to, but I don't know how. You are a whole grown-up. You're a grown-up. The same power that raised Jesus from the dead lives on the inside of you. The same thing. Yo, I believe in therapy. I believe that sometimes you got to take some Zoloft or Annex, Annex, Amex, Am, whatever it is, Ambien, to get through a season. But you can't allow that season to make you plant yourself at the pool of Bethesda sitting on a mat. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, we appreciate you. Thank you so much for making this show amazing. Yeah, thanks for watching. Amen. Don't Be in church about this weekend. And, and join a share group if you haven't yet. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, it is a lot. Do a of Zoom fun. meeting. You're going to talk about the sermons with people from all over the world. You meet a lot of neat people.